Let's begin by taking a look at <coughs> the binomial theorem, which states that a plus b raised to the nth power is this a mass and choose zero a to the zero b to the n plus and I choose one a to the one b to the n minus one <coughs> plus and I choose two a to the second b to the n minus two plus all the way down to n choose n minus 1 a to the n minus 1 b to the first plus n choose n a to the n b to the 0 Using this binomial theorem, we can see that if we replace a by 1 and b by the variable x, then we obtain that 1 plus x to the n is n choose 0, 1 to the 0, x to the n, plus n choose 1 1 to the first power x to the n minus 1 plus n choose 2 1 to the second x to the n minus 2 plus all the way down to n choose n minus 1, 1 to the n minus 1, x to the first, plus n choose n, 1 to the n, x to the 0. Now we can write that in simple fashion as 1 plus x to the nth power equals 1 to the 0 is 1 so we write n choose 0 x to the n plus 1 to the first is 1 so we can write n choose 1 x to the n minus 1 plus 1 squared is 1 so we can write n choose 2 x to the n minus 2 plus all the way down to n choose n minus 1 1 to the n minus 1 is 1 so we just write x plus n choose n x to the 0 is 1 1 to the n is 1, so just n choose n. Now we can use this identity uh, to derive some interesting equalities. Let's take a look at one of them. If we let x equal to, if we let x equal to 1, then we obtain the following. 1 plus 1 to the nth power is n choose 0 1 to the nth power plus n choose 1 1 to the n minus 1 power plus 
n choose 2, 1 to the n minus 2 power, plus all the way down to n choose n minus 1 times 1 plus n choose n. 1 plus 1 is the same as 2, so this left hand side is the same as 2 to the nth power. Now in each of these terms 1 raised to a power will become 1, so we can just write n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus n choose 2 plus all the way down to n choose n. Now let's say uh, let's take a look at some some topic relating to sets. So let A be a set with n distinct elements. Uh, here of course n is a positive integer. Now, let's take a, consider the following question. How many elements elements does the power set of A have? Well, let's see. The power set contains all subsets of A. Powers of A, power set of A, is the set of all subsets of A. So let's consider the individual cases we get. Subsets of A, how many of them have no elements? Well, it's only the empty set, but if you view this in uh, from a counting point of view, there are n to zero subsets of A with zero elements. There are n choose one subsets of A with one element. There are n choose 2 subsets of A with two elements. In general, there are n choose k subsets of A with K elements. Here, K is a positive integer. Uh, K is, a, is an integer greater than or equal to zero. But less or equal to N. Okay, so what do we what do we want? We want 
the number of all subsets of A. So we're not put all this together. These are all exclusive occurrences. If we have a subset of A, it either has zero elements or one element or two elements or all the way up to any elements. So in order for us to count the total number of subsets of A, we add this, all these values, all these quantities, from uh, beginning with n choose 0 all the way up to n choose n. So in other words, we're, we're going to say that the uh, number of elements contained in a power set of A is n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus n choose 2 plus all the way down to n choose n. Oh, but uh, we just um, we just derived an identity that says that that sum is the same as 2 to the n. Let's summarize. Let's look at a summary of what, <coughs> what we have covered in this small lesson. First, we, we begin with our binomial theorem. Our binomial theorem is a formula that allows us to um, write a plus b to the nth power explicitly. Now, we use this formula, we use this binomial theorem to uh, write a 1 plus x to the n in general. So when we apply it, we get a partial result. The end result is that a 1 plus x raised to the nth power is the same as n choose 0 x to the n plus n choose 1 x to the n minus 1 plus n choose 2 x to the n minus 2 plus all the way down to n choose n minus 1 x to the first plus n choose n. We could write x to the first simply as x. Now when with that formula we can obtain some interesting identities one of them being 2 to the n equals n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus n choose 2 plus all the way down to plus n choose n. And that of course is obtained by letting x equal equal to 1 in the expansion of what 1 plus x to the n. So here are the details of that. Theorem. Uh, we're recording this as a theorem that if you have a positive interior n and A set A has contains exactly n distinct elements, then the power set of that set, the power set of A, contains two raised to the n distinct elements. Uh, in summary, if you, if you write it using the proper notation, the cardinality of the power set of A is 2 to the power n, or 2 to the power of the cardinality of A. In this case, of course, it is a, we are only treating the case A being a finite set. This result does happen to hold in more general settings. We're not considering those in here. Now here, of course, we have a proof that is based on our, on our discussion regarding how to count a the number of elements of the subsets of A individually. So there are n choose 0 subsets of A with 0 elements. There are n choose 1 subset of a, subsets of A with a 1 element. There are n choose 2 subsets of A <coughs> with 2 elements. And in general, there are n choose k subset of a, subsets of A with k elements where k is an integer and k is between 0 and n 
Uh, notice that uh, we're using, we are realizing this count because that's our definition of uh, the combination. Uh, once we know this, we answer the question, how many subsets are there of set A? Well, and here we employ what what is known as the fundamental counting principle for exclusive alternative events, which tells us that we add discounts n choose zero, n choose one, n choose two, all the way to up until n choose n. Uh, then we appeal to our formula that says two to the n is n choose zero plus n choose one plus n choose two plus all the way down to plus n choose n. And of course, uh, 2 to the n is the same as saying 2 to the carnality of A because that's what our hypothesis tells us that uh, the carnality of A is n because A has indistinct elements. Now for the reader, uh, we have some exercises here to tr for, for the reader to try. Uh, one of them uh, deriving the identity that for a positive odd integer n, n choose 1 plus n choose 3 plus all the way down, all the way down to n choose n, the same as a uh, n choose 0 plus n choose 2 plus all the way down to n choose n minus 1. Uh, the idea here is to employ this formula here with a suitable value for x. Very simple problem to, very simple exercise to solve. Uh, the next two exercises are geared towards uh, the developing a proof of the binomial theorem, of this theorem right here. So in exercise number two, we want to establish a simple identity uh, involving combinations. Prove that for any integers k n such that n is larger than k and k is larger or equal to zero, then n plus one choose k plus one is n choose k plus one plus n choose k. Once this is, once we have this identity. Uh, we can go ahead and prove the binomial theorem using mathematical induction. Uh, beyond this, uh, we can uh, conclude this presentation by saying that uh, what we have seen here is uh, some minor applications of the binomial theorem. Uh, that's all for now.